Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Russell Westbrook. And maybe it's shocking, and maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James is tied for the third most MVP awards of all time. He's also tied for the most second-place finishes. Frank Vogel said it's a mistake to go season after season without voting the best player in the league as MVP. LeBron says, I should have more than four, but I don't cry about it. I bet a lot of the greats feel the same. Kevin? They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. It'll be hard for either side to score tonight, Greg. Two lockdown defenses that do it in a variety of ways. Tell you what, they're both strong on the ball, in help, and in transition. And both coaches do a great job of making in-game adjustments. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. They've got Jackson. Grant is out there with Hamadou Diallo. Then there's Isaiah Stewart. And it's Cunningham in at the point. And for the Lakers. Guard set is Westbrook and Ellington. The two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. And it's Anthony in at the small forward. Now, here's Cunningham, hoping to put that miserable performance against the Clippers behind him tonight. It's stolen, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. To the inside, here's Stewart, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Westbrook. James kicks to Anthony. And stolen by Diallo. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That is his first foul of the game. Diallo, the pass to Cunningham. First quarter of play, one minute played. Stewart kicks to Grant. Over LeBron. No good from Grant. Boy, not the kind of start they wanted. Only one for four so far. Ellington dishes to Davis. Grant against LeBron. And they double up James. Stolen by Grant. Oh, and here we go. Jackson, nobody back. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Davis. Well, I like the fact that Grant is a guy who plays both sides of the floor at a high level, always keeping his hands moving on defense. And as a result, he comes up with a number of steals. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Now the pass to Ellington. Fires for three. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Cunningham. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Diallo, the pass to Cunningham. Down to five on the shot clock. Grant with the ball. He's picked up by James, and they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at Detroit. They're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. And right now for the Pistons, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. And when you talk about inconsistency, I think a lot of it has to go to the players because ultimately they're the ones that dictate how they perform. The Pistons have gone 2-6 in the field. 
And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration. Now, here's Cunningham, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Now let's step back and have a look at the top passing teams in the NBA this season. The Lakers, number one. The beauty of watching this team is seeing the ball move around the court. It doesn't stick. That's why they're at the top of that list. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Off target with his three. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the legs. LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. Now here's Westbrook. After Josh Jackson's miss, good on the shot. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense for those kinds of openings. Knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfect. Pistons trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Now, here's Cunningham. D right on him. Grant. Looking to end the run. And Stewart gets it to go. Stewart's got his second bucket of the game to go. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. LeBron passes to Davis. And they double up Davis. The shot. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. So it's the Pistons now. It's a three-point game. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down and really the story of the game. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win, getting it going from the three-point line. But at the end of the day, it didn't happen. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. That's to Diallo. Left side, Grant. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Shot clock at five, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. The Lakers with the ball. Now, here's Cunningham. No points in the game yet for him. Grant kicks to Cunningham. And the dunk by Stewart. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Yeah, right. I don't know how much weight that carries. Now here's LeBron. 14 points from him the last game against Sacramento. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Grant dishes to Cunningham. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one's on Anthony. And you can see why Cunningham elicits comparisons to Luka Doncic. Can control the pace of the game, very high basketball IQ, and shows a maturity beyond his year. good from Cunningham and also like Doncic 
Cunningham can put the offense on his back and carry it. He could put up 50-plus numerous times in his career because he has deep range, can break down defenders off the dribble, and if you run two at him, he will immediately find the open man. Horton Tucker's checked in for Anthony. And so Cunningham nails both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Here's Horton Tucker. He's covered by Grant. Ellington the pass to LeBron. Here's Horton Tucker. Lock at six. Frying is what from deep. Here's James. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Olenek's checked in. The Pistons trailing. Set up, set up. Outside Jackson. Cunningham inside. Defended by nine. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg... That will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Free throw good, LeBron. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their games. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. And the Pistons making a change here. Trey Lyles checked in for Stewart. Bay comes in for Diallo. Corey Joseph's checked in for Jackson. Saban Lee subbed in for Cunningham. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this time out, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Here's Olenek, right now averaging about five points a game. Lee outside. Back to Olenek. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Horton Tucker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kicks it out to LeBron. For three, Westbrook. Good, and the assist goes to James. And the Lakers lead by seven. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Now, here's none. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. A putback, James on the follow. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Joseph against Westbrook. Knocked away. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Lee. Can they get it? LeBron with the block. Boy, a superb shot blocker. LeBron continues to add to his highlight reel of impressive rejection. Here's Horton Tucker. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. 
and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now, here's Lyons. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shot by Joseph. No good. Here's Horton Tucker. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. And here's Bay. Here he goes. And Davis sends it back. And it's the Lakers on the break. The shot's good from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third basket of the night. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And whether by design or by accident, they drew so many fouls in that game. Foul trouble for the other side became a huge issue. And as a result, there was a blowout win. I mean, credit them for initiating contact and forcing the officials to make the calls. Jordan, he's checked in for the Lakers. Howard comes in for James. Pass to Bay. Over none. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Lakers leading by 13. Westbrook passes to Howard. It's tipped. Now Lee. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. They could use a bucket. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Lakers the other way. Here's Horton Tucker. He's defended by Bay. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. None kicks to Westbrook. Back to none. Goes back up. And Howard finishes it off. And the Lakers lead by 15. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. A minute 50 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Wiles. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. It's his first trip to the line. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Lakers leading by 13. There's a minute 40 left here in the opening quarter. Passes it to Howard. Westbrook against Joseph. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. Bring music scorching those nets. How long can they keep this up, though? Pistons trail by 16. Lee outside. Kicks it to Olenek. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Westbrook double team. To the wing right side. From deep. And they get it back. Here's Howard. 
Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Left side, Joseph. Offensive rebound. Here's Lyles. Back to Bay. Near the three-point line, it's Olenek. And too long on the shot. That's one he knows he should have drank. Westbrook against Joseph. Shoots a three. Horton Tucker's shot is off. Westbrook against Bay. And the pass to Lyles. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Horton Tucker. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. One eye on the rim. One eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's Los Angeles with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Evan Sharp from beyond the arc putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we've heard Russell Westbrook say his job is to do everything. But he understands that it's also a team effort. We got to do it together. And uh, I think that's more important than scoring any points or doing anything else is, is leadership. And uh, that's where I got to find my, my niche and uh, try to lead the guys. A great leadership, an area where Westbrook, I think, feels he's growing. And with his motor, he's always been a culture setter. But bringing your teammates along is also about setting the tone for collaboration. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Kent Bazemore is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Howard. And it's Jordan in at the center, locking down the middle. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Bazemore against Lee. Pass to Bay. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one's on Anthony. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. throw good from Bay. And we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. Uh, what do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I played in Seattle for a season, and I know they would love to have a team back in the great Northwest. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Stewart checked in for Lyles. Josh Jackson comes in for Corey Joseph. And it's Cunningham in for Saban Lee. Los Angeles leading by 20. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Despite their record, there is optimism around the Detroit Pistons. Gillian Hayes said, we have a fun team. We love seeing each other succeed. We've got a bright future. And Coach Dwayne Casey says, if we bring the same type of intensity, toughness each and every night, then good things will happen. Kevin, back to you. Detroit tough. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. Here's Bay after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Pass to Cunningham. Four on the clock, and the foul on Kent Bazemore. That's his first foul. 
Wayne Ellington's checked in for the Lakers. And Detroit with a change here, too. Diallo, he's checked in for Bay. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Los Angeles has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Passes to Anthony. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. The turnaround. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Grant. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Grant is just really an aggressive player who welcomes contact on his shots. I mean, the defense has to be careful around him because he's looking to draw fouls. What I really love about Jeremy Grant is his work ethic. He's really put in time to improve his scoring. Specifically, his jump shot. For a while, he didn't have the consistent three ball. Now, you got to at least honor it. The free throw drops for Grant. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. So he gets them both. You know, the first thing that jumps out at you when you look at Grant is his athleticism. I mean... This guy is a terrific dunker and finishes well around the basket even when he doesn't dunk. Baysmore passes to Ellington. Drives to the hoop. And the rejection by Jackson. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Baysmore passes to Anthony. Good on the three-point shot. Anthony's got five points now in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And here's Cunningham following the three-pointer by Carmelo Anthony. Here's Grant. That one's not going to go. Excellent D from Howard. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Now here's Diawa. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And so Bazemore will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. The pass to Anthony. Over Diallo. It's hauled in by Diallo. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Now here's Anthony. He had 19 points in the win against Sacramento. Now the feed to Cunningham. And then Cunningham with the dunk. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Diallo. Shoots over Baysmore. Diallo no good. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he's still got to make these shots, in my opinion. And a missed late. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Lakers leading by 22. It's Anthony with the drive. 
some solid defense from Grant. The Pistons have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. There's Jackson with the three. Trains the three-pointer. Jackson's got five points so far. Impressive range on display there. Jackson knocking down the triple. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Some changes for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And LeBron subbed in for Dwight Howard. Here's LeBron. He's got eight. Pass to Ellington. Back to LeBron. Inside. Here's Anthony. Basket counts. Anthony's got seven points here in this quarter. Yep. You know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch. Building some momentum. Here's Jackson. He has five. Pass to Cunningham. Knocked loose. Shoots over Baysmore. Cunningham's shot is off. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. James outside. He kicks to Ellington from past the arc. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got three assists in the game. Cunningham with it. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. The pass to Diallo. Six on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Cunningham's shot is off. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. He's gone two for two at the line so far. free throw drops for Grant. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. And Grant drops them both. Now here's Baysmore. Pass to Davis. Feeds it to Ellington. Back to Davis. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Anthony finds Ellington. His three-pointers off the mark. The Pistons shooting is definitely lagging at the moment. They're just 30% in the second quarter. Misses the layup. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Outside Anthony on the wing Davis. From 11 feet away. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here's Jackson following the basket by Anthony Davis. Hits it from three-point range. Diallo's got five now. Hey, major props to Josh Jackson. Made an intelligent play there. Has a good feel for when his guys have a clean look. James outside. To the paint. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. And the dunk by Grant. You know what? When you allow Grant to get close to the rim, you risk seeing him give you a facial right in your grill. I mean, tremendous athleticism from the Syracuse alum. And the Lakers call time here. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls.
And Los Angeles with some changes. Horton Jocker comes in for Anthony. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Kent Bazemore. Detroit also making some changes. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Grant. And it's Joseph in for Cunningham. Westbrook. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. Love it when Westbrook takes it right at the defense like that. Strong and then finishes as well. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Trey Lyles checked in for Detroit. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play in every game. No doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. Now here's Jackson. He's got five, and the shot goes in. Jackson's got his third basket of the night right there. Man, it's so much fun watching Jackson create his own shot, and Ball handling ability and athleticism gives you a chance to do that. Here's LeBron. The tray gets the three-pointer to fall. James has got 11 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Count that one. Yeah, Joseph adept at finding his open teammates. And that's exactly what you want from your point guard. Westbrook passes to James. On the wing, Ellington. Six to shoot. On the wing, Davis. 18 feet out. No good. He has missed three of his five attempts this game. Pistons trail by 21. Outside, Joseph. Right at the free throw line. No good there. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Pass to Ellington. Here's Horton Tucker. He has seven. Passes it to Westbrook. Fires the three. Rebound by Olenek. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Pistons have made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. down the first one. Lee's checked in for Jackson. Diallo hits them both. Lakers leading by 19. Westbrook dishes to James. The pass to Horton Tucker over Diallo. Horton Tucker's shot is off. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. No good from Lee. Los Angeles has gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting, and that one's good by Davis. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. 152 left here in the second. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. 
And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw good, Lee. And the Lakers making a change here. Nunn's checked in. Bays checked in for the Pistons. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Los Angeles leading by 20. There's 138 left to play in the first half. Here's Davis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. It has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding him. I mean, you try to get physical with him. You don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. He's been a completely different guy at the line this season. I mean, last year, you weren't sure what you were going to get when he got to the strike. Um, there's no way we could have expected such a huge increase in those free throw percentage numbers. And that one falls for Davis. You know, I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total package, both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. Now here's Lee. Pass to Bay. Here's Olenek. He's guarded by Davis. From 13, and Davis sends it back. And he gets it back. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Joseph's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to Horton Tucker. Davis against Olenek. Davis kicks to none. Lock at six. Into the lane. Over Lee. And there's another one for the Lakers. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. This is it to Bay. He feeds it to Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And here's none. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. There's the pass to Horton Tucker. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his sixth assist on the night. Lee outside. Pass to Bay. Tipped away. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Los Angeles on top, running away with this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the point's coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? We're playing with a high offensive motor. We're screening through physicality. We're starting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting good shots for ourselves. And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was all Russell Westbrook in the first quarter. He had 11 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right? That's the point. Obviously. Shaq, what'd you think about the Pistons? 
It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field goal percentage they put out. Oh, that's not going to cut it, honey. I don't even want to talk about it no more. Uh. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And on the floor for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. We've got Cunningham. Isaiah Stewart out there with Grant. Then it's Josh Jackson and Diallo in at the three. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well. Knows what's coming and usually always makes the right pass. And the Pistons with possession here. Following the bucket by the Lakers. Here's Cunningham. Stewart trying to get open. Cunningham's shot is off. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Grant. The shot misses. Great D that time from James. Lakers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Ellington, the pass to LeBron. Cuts off the pass. Jumps up. And Cunningham with the slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. Pass to Diallo. That three off the mark. Los Angeles leading by 23. Outside Westbrook. It's deflected. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. And Davis sends it back. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Stewart passes to Cunningham. Jackson against Davis. Here's Cunningham. You know, defensively, Anthony Davis might be the most versatile big guy in the league. I mean, this guy does a nice job not only blocking shots, but challenging shots as he did there. Stolen. Oh, and here we go. Cunningham heading to the hoop. And Cunningham with the slam. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Now here's Anthony. He's got seven. Westbrook passes to Carmelo. Shot clock at six. Fires from the wing. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number seven for him tonight. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Passes to Stewart. And Davis sends it back. And they get it back. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Ellington the pass to Westbrook. Outside Anthony. Back to Westbrook. Now Ellington. Nine points in the game so far. A shot off that time. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. 
Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? B.A., he is a lead in every way, as are you. Thank you. Jackson with it. Nine points in the game so far. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. The Lakers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Westbrook kicks to Ellington. Westbrook with a wide-open look. Rebounded by Jackson. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for James. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Yeah, and he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. And, well, Detroit shooting a ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That's foul number two for him. On the wing, Jackson. Ellington defending. Now, here's Cunningham. Eight points for him. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Westbrook scanning the floor. And it's Davis finishing it off. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him. Giving you his entire package right now. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Down low, here's Stewart, and he converts the layup. Stewart's got eight points. And you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Outside Westbrook. And there's the pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Three-pointer Ellington. Drills it from outside. 12 points for him. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Detroit with the ball. When this game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. And that will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. Grant against Davis from 10 feet out. And the shot is long. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Lakers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Ellington, the pass to Anthony. Over Stewart. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. To the right side. Stewart. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Stewart's got four points this quarter. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Westbrook kicks to Anthony. Grant against Davis. Pass to Ellington. Lakers working the ball around now. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And also, I think it's really led to the rhythm and confidence you've seen from long range tonight throughout the entire game. And the first one drops. And the Lakers with some changes. Howard's checked in for Anthony Davis. Ken Bazemore comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. Then for the Pistons, Kelly Olenek's checked in for Jeremy Grant. 
Bay comes in for Jackson, and Lee subbed in for Diallo. And he makes both free throws. Here's Lee. Pass to Stewart. Kicks to Olenek and stolen by Ellington. Dishes to Howard. Here's Nunn. Los Angeles with another miss. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Cunningham with the slam. Oh, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two hander. Max Force throwdown. Now, here's none. On the wing, Ellington. Sinks the triple. Ellington's got 17 now. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. And here's Bazemore. Passes it to Jordan. There's the triple. A shot by Ellington, no good. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 14-6 run. None against Lee. From deep three-point range, Detroit with the rebound. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Baysmore against Stewart. Stewart with the steal. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. Lee passes to Stewart. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. He's been doing really nice work at the line, 83%. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. And so he hits the technical free throw. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lengths at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Now here's Joseph. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Stolen by none. The pass to Horton Tucker. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Pass to none. From deep, it's good from long range. Nunn's got five. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Lee with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. And Jordan sends it back. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. Here's Baysmore. Detroit with the rebound. Lyles got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Joseph up top. He's guarded by Howard. And he gets the bucket. He's got five. Corey Joseph does a nice job with his speed and change of pace to get by the defense. Lee against Nunn. Over to the left wing. Horton Tucker's shot is off. Detroit's gone 1-3 of three from downtown since halftime. And the foul on Kent Bazemore. 
That'll be his second foul of the game. Olenek finds Joseph. And here's Bay. Pass to Lyles. Knocks it loose. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. And there's the feed to Joseph. And stolen by Jordan. Now, none. He's got five. He kicks it to Bazemore. Passes it to Jordan. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. And, well, Detroit shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. And the basket by Olenek. And, really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. James against Lyons. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Baysmore on the wing. Here's Howard. James trying to free himself up. That's good from Howard on the assist by baseball. And you know what? There's no question about it. Dwight Howard still has it going on inside. Detroit with the ball. We've got 108 left here in the third quarter. Here's Bay. A second chance effort. And James pulls it down. James has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And they recover it. Horton Tucker, the pass to Howard. Goes up again. The shot is good off the backboard. Eight points for Howard. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. James against Bay. And it's Joseph in the corner. Nailed from three-point land. Joseph's got his third bucket of the night. Lay off Joseph too much, and he has no problem taking these shots. Excellent at catching and shooting. Pass to LeBron. Shoots over Lyles. LeBron, good. James has got 13. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Davis sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Trevor Ariza out there with Valentine. 
Then there's Kent Bazeman. Then there's Monk. And it's Horton Tucker in at the small forward position. Now, here's Monk. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Horton Tucker. Kicks it to Valentine. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. That is his first foul of the game. Detroit's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Garza. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on Ariza. And for the first time in 2021, Clark, we had the full play-in tournament featuring the 7 through 10 seeds. Uh, what'd you think of the new format? I really enjoyed it. I mean, again, part of it was we're coming out of a pandemic, and so we're starving for all things sports, and this added another level of excitement to, I think, the best game in the world, NBA basketball. You had Steph against LeBron and AD. Uh, so I think it was a pretty awesome result overall. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. The Lakers shooting at 51%. Really solid. Horton Tucker. The pass to Baseman. Over to the wing. Here's Magruder. And stolen by Bazemore. Here's Horton Tucker. Score of the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five mates. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's Jackson, and he makes the eight-footer. And Clark, the NBA is supporting those players who use their platform for change. In 2021, the NBA created the new Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Award. Yeah, that sends a really powerful message because those who have followed the career of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was my idol as I was growing up, know that he not only performed at the highest level between the lines, but he has always been a voice and an activist for social justice, for education, for doing what's right and decent. His career outside of basketball clearly embodies what being about human rights is all about. So that's a really powerful message and one that I'm glad to see the NBA put forth. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Cloak loose. And oh, here we go. Joseph's got it. The fast break chance. Jackson misses. Lakers have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Feeds to Ariza. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Pistons go the other way with it. Here's Magruder. And the basket is good. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying... They think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor. And maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Here's Horton Tucker. Covered by Lyon. A shot's good for Monk. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them 
offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. The Pistons have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Jackson with it. Now guarded by Valentine. Jackson passes to Joseph. Bazemore grabs the miss. The Lakers shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Ariza. Joseph with the rebound. And, well, Detroit shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Garza. He's covered by Bazemore. Here's Horton Tucker. Buries the long-range jumper. Horton Tucker's got five points now in the quarter. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Outside Jackson. Here's Magruder. Baysmore passes to Valentine. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Cunningham with it. Passes it to Jackson. Now here's Diallo. The pass to Stewart. Cunningham with it. Five to shoot. And that one hits back iron. Anthony right side. In the corner, it's Westbrook. From deep, James. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got nine rebounds now tonight. Cunningham looking it over. They need this one. Second chance shot, and he lays it up and in. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Now here's Davis. Outside Westbrook. That's in there. Davis with the assist. The defense all over Westbrook there, but he's crafty. He's slick, and he was focused on that shot. So it's the Pistons now. Cunningham with it. Westbrook picks him up. Stewart trying to get open. Cunningham's shot is off. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. Ellington from outside. Rebound by the Pistons. Stewart's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Jackson. Good work defensively by Anthony. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Over Diallo. Anthony with the bucket. Well, you got to respect the jump shot of Anthony because he's got the ultimate green light. And because of that freedom, he's a dangerous guy on the perimeter. Diallo the pass to Cunningham. To the inside. It's stolen by Davis. Floats it up for James. Stolen by Jackson. And here is Grant. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch. But it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. And a wide-open look for Cunningham. Detroit, no good that time either. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. The three from Davis. Rebounded by the Pistons. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Diallo kicks to Cunningham. Outside Jackson. Off the mark, and the drop continues. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. 
Westbrook passes to James. Over Jackson. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fifth rebound in this one. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. And that'll be his third foul so far. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. Horton Jocker comes in for Wayne Ellington. Bays checked in for Detroit. Detroit's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Pass to Cunningham. Fade away. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Horton Tucker. And the foul called on Cade Cunningham. That's foul number two for him. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Valentine's checked in for LeBron. Malik Monk comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Russell Westbrook. Now Monk has to Valentine. Six on the shot clock. Takes the 13-footer. Connects. The jumper drops. Horton Tucker's got seven now in this quarter. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Passes to Bay. And last season, All-Stars Greg missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, are you concerned about the toll it takes? You are, but this off-season may be not as painfully short as the last one. And in these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. They get a hand on it. The dish to Jackson. Back to Bay. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Out to the right wing. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Detroit's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Jackson drives in, and it's blocked. Here's Horton Tucker. He's defended by Bay. To the paint. Here's Valentine over Jackson. Jordan trying to free himself up. They get it again. The shot's good from Monk. Monk's got four this quarter. Monk's got deceptive strength. You got to respect that. I mean, the defense throwing themselves all over him and at him, but he's still concentrating and knocking down the shot. Jackson. 127 left in the fourth quarter. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. 
a dominating performance for the Lakers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. That's a nice feeling to get the sweep. Even though it is a small number, still nice to get that sweep. No surprise here. Just a big-time performance for Anthony Davis. Well, I love the force that he showed on defense, using all of his length to deny shots. He was their anchor tonight. He throw good, Jordan. You know, at this stage of his career, Jordan not only knows his role, but thoroughly and fully embraces it. He's out there to provide energy and hustle on defense and on the glass. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Detroit Pistons. Nice ball movement by Detroit. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Clock at six. And the pass to Horton Tucker. Baysmore for three. No good that time. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Russell, congrats. How satisfying is this win? It's great. Um, you know, what we're supposed to do, we came in and competed at a high level defensively for the most part and uh, got the win. And you continue to keep it rolling, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.